Are we rolling, Jimmy? Led Zeppelin week. Led Zeppelin ranking the albums. Ryan Nolting here. We're going to rank the Led Zeppelin records, all nine of them. We're going to call Coda, which came out two years after they broke up as an album. Some people consider it a compilation. It really is a compilation of stuff that was not used in the studio and some live tracks. Um, it's kind of considered an album, though, because it's previously unreleased stuff just a couple years after the band breaks up. So Led Zeppelin, founded by Jimmy Page. Jimmy Page was in the Yardbirds, having followed Eric Clapton, having played with Jeff Beck in the Yardbirds. Uh, Jeff Beck leaves, forms his own group, uh, quartet, um, and Jimmy Page takes over. They do an album or so. They break up. Page is off with the name, calling themselves the New Yardbirds. He recruits John Paul Jones, who was a session guy in London, and two friends, Robert Plant and John Bonham from the from the Black Country area in <clears throat> England. In 68, John Bonham ultimately dies in 80. The band breaks up. Again, Coda comes out two years later. These albums are all great. Uh, there's a couple that are a little bit lower run for me, um, but we're gonna rank these. And again, I don't have any right ranking these albums. They're all great. And somebody's gotta be first and somebody's gotta be last. My least favorite Led Zeppelin record is Coda. Okay, Coda comes out in 82 comes out in no November of 82. So a couple years after Bonham's died. And, uh, you know, it's a good record. Uh, We're Gonna Groove is the first track. You know, that's a, it's from the Royal Albert ha Hall from 1970. So it's a live track. Uh, the second is a, is an outtake from the Led Zeppelin III uh, called Poor Tom uh, from 1970. You know, it's a little bit weaker track. Uh, I Can't Quit You Baby is also a live track from from 1970, it's awesome. Uh, Walter's Walk is an outtake from the, the 1972 Houses of the Holy Sessions that doesn't make that record. It's okay, it's three and a quarter stars out of five. The second side flips over with Ozone Baby. Okay, uh, Ozone Baby is, um, it's okay, it's, it's a 3.75. Uh, uh, it's from the in through the outdoor session. So some of these songs are from the previous album sessions that just didn't make the cut. In fact, Darlene, which is next, is also from that in through the outdoor sessions. Uh, it's a good track. Uh, Bonzo's Montro um, from '76. It's, it's a drum solo. It's a, it's a it's Bonzo is, is John Bonham's nickname. Uh, again, uh, it's it's just okay. The best song on this record. And also from the In Through the Outdoor Sessions is a song called Wearing and Tearing. I remember in 1990 watching the Nebworth Festival on satellite TV back then and, and Robert Plant's band was playing and Jimmy Page comes out and this was live on TV and Jimmy Page comes out and does Wearing and Tearing with Robert Plant and we're seeing Led Zepp, we're seeing the two guys from Led Zeppelin on TV 10 years after they break up, they do Wearing and Tearing. This is my least favorite Led Zeppelin album and it really... Again, it's kind of a compilation. My second uh, album coming in at number eight is their eighth album, In Through the Outdoor. Okay, Led Zeppelin record, releases this album in August of 79. Robert Plant's son, Carrick, had died of an illness, uh, a very sudden death. A couple years earlier, the band's kind of on, on break. Plant's not even sure if he wants to do this anymore. Uh, Page is kind of falling into a drug problem at this point, some heroin. And this record is very heavily influenced by Plant and John Paul Jones, who's the bass player and keyboard player. In the Evening starts it off. It's a four out of five star song. It's a great song. Starting to show some signs of uh, more keyboards, more of a updated sound. Um, Southbound Suarez is the next track. You know, kind of a rockabilly song, kind of a 50s rock thing. So Zeppelin's perfected earlier in their career the taking the American blues and, 
electrifying it and giving it back to America, you know, as a British blues thing. But they also do a lot of 50s rock thing, kind of that Gene Vincent, uh, Elvis Presley thing. Uh, Fool in the Rain, great song. I'm going to give Fool in the Rain five stars out of five. You know, it, it's more of a pop song. It could have been a hit. I don't, I don't think it actually ne necessarily even hit the charts, but, you know, it's such a departure from what they had done previously. Awesome song. Incredible drums by Bonham on that. Hot Dog is a fun song that rounds out the first side. It's a three and a half star song. You know, it's a song that's kind of forgettable in a sense, but when you go back and listen to it, it's fresh. Again, kind of that rockabilly thing, which some people don't like Zeppelin doing. Cara Salambra starts out the next side. Cara Salambra is an awesome song. More of a continuation of what they had done on previous albums. Long song with a with a change towards the end that's so amazing on keyboard. John Paul Jones is all over this record. Same with the next track, All of My Love. All of My Love is a song clearly a tribute to Carrick who passed away again. He's the, the baby that plant in the movie, the song remains the same when they're down by the river, throws over his shoulder, just a beautiful child who dies suddenly while, while plants on tour in the United States. Uh, all My Love is just beautiful song. Um, the lyrics, so listen to that song. I'm Gonna Crawl finishes out. Lots of reverb, lots of uh, reverb on the vocals. Again, kind of a 50s ballad thing. I don't really like, it's three stars for me. By the way, All My Love is a five star song. Things are getting interesting. The album that preceded that is an album called Presence. And Presence starts off, by the way, that's the object. Everybody's sitting around the table looking at the object, right? One of my favorite songs by in the whole catalog opens this album out. This album comes out in March of 76. You know, so three years prior, prior to uh, the last one, or Achilles' Last Stand opens this, the album up. Achilles' Last Stand is just a marching song progressive rock really um it's probably my favorite song in their whole catalog it's certainly one of them for your life uh second song achilles last song stand is five stars for your life is four stars royal orleans three and a half good song a little bit weaker though here um nobody's fault but mine is the next track uh some great harmonica on that okay nobody's fault but mine um, next we have Candy Store Rock. It's kind of a fun song again, kind of, kind of a love song talking about groupies and things and, you know, she's as sweet as candy type of thing, which is really not what Zeppelin does, singing songs about love. Um, we don't really want our Led Zeppelin to be about love songs, do we? I mean, it's about power. It's about rock. Um, Hot's, uh... Uh, Hot's on for nowhere, uh, three and a quarter song. Not, not, not one of my favorite. T for one is the next track. Uh, you know, it's kind of like since since uh, since I've been loving you, a redone again. It's it's good though. It's four. It's great jamming. Um, this album was was recorded in Malibu. Page and Plant had had taken a break and. And, and written some songs there. Um, um, all the overdubs were done in one night on this album, that courtesy of Kevin Kerbo on that little nugget. Uh, anyway, my next is Led Zeppelin III. Okay, this is the third record. This album comes out in October of 70. You know, they had been on tour since 68, starting with that Scandinavian tour all the way through 60, I mean, four tours of the United States in 69, right? Bunch of other tours in, in 70. This band's exhausted. They get in this, Page and Plant take a well-deserved vacation up in, in, the, in Wales in the countryside, and they got acoustic guitars out here. This is a much different record, more of an English aesthetic on this record. That's a uh, Andy Edwards uh, has a, a YouTube channel that I love. Uh, he uses that expression an English aesthetic uh, to describe some of the some progressive rock opens up with the immigrant song I mean just a three minute banger 
about the Vikings invading England, right? Just one of the best heavy songs they ever did. Another song, a sinister song called Friends. This is in a C6 tuning. It's an acoustic song and it's it's very interesting. Immigrant Song's a five out of five star song. Friends is three and a half. Another three and a half celebration day. Great song. And then the epic blues, five star, since I've been loving you. You know, it's a C minor blues. It's just as good as it gets. They're taking the American blues again and putting an English spin on it. The second side is almost primarily acoustic. People refer to this Zeppelin Three album as their acoustic album. We got Gallows Pole, four and a half stars. Kind of a traditional song. Tangerine. Now, Page had written this song with the Yardbirds back in 68, but four and a half, maybe even a five star song. Tangerine, what a song. That's the way. Just a gorgeous. I'm going to give that four, both of those, Tangerine and That's the Way, four and a half out of five stars. Braun R. Stomp, you know, a little bit weaker, three and a half. And then Hats Off for Roy Harper. It's, it's a, a Book of White song, okay? Um, shake Em On Down. It's kind of a take on that Shake Em On Down Book of White song. Uh, this album, again, by the way, Hey, Hey, What Can I Do is not on this album, but it is the B-side single of Immigrant Song. Think about if that's on here. Great song. Um, string Arrangement on Friends by John Paul Jones. Again, more of a, an acoustic album here. My next favorite Led Zeppelin song, uh, album is the debut. Again, this is recorded in 68. They record this album before they even have a record deal. Page produces it. Page ends up producing all these albums on the strength of his production on this record. Page has been a master prior to the Yardbirds in the studio in London contributing to other people's records. He learns how to produce albums. And by the time they get together and release this in January of 69, he's got a fully fleshed out album. Good Times, Bad Times is the first song on the first Zeppelin album. Five out of star, five star classic. Babe, I'm gonna leave you. Four and a half stars, incredible. Acoustic, right? You Shook Me, it's a Willie Dixon song. So they're taking the blues again. In this case, You Shook Me, it's it's a cover song, okay? It's, there, there's no Page Plant songs really on this record. Dazed and Confused, it's a Jake Holmes song. Dazed and Confused have been done with the Yardbirds, but perfected here. Page has got the bow out. It's very unique. I mean, what they're doing here, yes, they're basically covering the American blues, but they're making it their own so much. This is a high energy record. This is incredible. Flip the album over. Your time is going to come. Just fantastic. Four out of five. Uh, Black Mountainside. It's a Burt Johns song. Okay. In fact, I saw him live once. He played the song live. Um, it's it's weaker on here. It's three and a half. It's the weakest song on the record, but it's short. Communication Breakdown. Five out of five stars. Incredible. I mean, talking about talking about love or communicating with women but it's 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 a rocker okay um i can't quit you baby it's a willie dixon song a little bit weaker on this record but it's still three and a half out of five and then and then a uh, four and a half to five star classic how many more times holland wolf wrote that song um just unbelievable just unbelievable uh, song. Just a great record, too. Um, the debut comes in next. Then, the second record. The second record was released in October of 69. So, the first album is January 69. October, they're already back with another album. This is the first time that, that Page and Plant write together. In fact, uh, what is and what should, ne what should never be is the first page of plant written song. It's the second song in this record. Whole Lot of Love. Okay, Whole Lot of Love is a Willie Dixon song, but Page makes that song his own. I mean, the instrumental section, way down inside, Plant's vocal. Baby, you need love. Whole Lot of Love is a five out of five classic. What is and what should never be is a four and a half. The Lemon Song, another Holland Wolf song, right? It's a, it's a four-star song. I mean, it's just incredible. Thank You finishes up the 
the first side. Again, page and plant writing together. Thank you is a classic. Four and a half out of five stars. The second side flips over with Heartbreaker, four and a half. Right into Living Loving Maid. She's just a woman. Four and, four and a half out of five. Ramble on. Five out of five, right? We've gone from Heartbreaker to Living Loving Woman to Ramble on to Moby Dick, which is an instrumental. It's focusing on the drums of John Bonham. Okay, the world's being introduced to this guy that nobody's ever heard of named John Bonham, who's like 20. People think he's the greatest drummer in the world. I, I think he's the greatest rock drummer in the world. And it's a cliche to say that, but go back and listen to these records. Sophisticated drumming. He could have been in any jazz band. God, he's good. And then Bring It On Home, another Willie Dixon song. You know, just this album was produced, was was recorded in 13 different studios and two continents. That's uh, straight out of the mouth of, of Mike Jones, right? Uh, Mike Jones and Kevin Kerbo are buddies of mine who are Zeppelin aficionados. I joke that they talk about Zeppelin so much it makes me not want to listen to Zeppelin anymore. But, of course, we all love Ze Led Zeppelin. This is an amazing, amazing record. But what's better than this record? Next on my list, my third fav most favorite Led Zeppelin. This is a double record, double album. It comes out in February of 75. This is called Physical Graffiti. Physical Graffiti is absolutely amazing. Again, February 24th of 75, Custard Pie opens up as a huge rocker, four out of five. The Rover, totally badass. Badass drums, four and a half out of five. In My Time of Dying, the longest song they ever recorded. Four out of five. The song Houses of the Holy is on physical graffiti. Five out of five from the Houses of the Holy. And then Trampled Underfoot, okay, is the second song on, on, the, on the second side of the first album. Trampled Underfoot is incredible. Four and a half out of five. And then the legendary Cashmere. Cashmere finishes up side two of the first record. It's a five out of five classic. Page and Plant will tell you it's the best song that they ever wrote. You know, it's eight and a half minutes, but you're so wrapped up in, in that song, you don't even know how long. It's, it's written in a tuning called Dadgad, D-A-D-G-A-D, -D -D, which is an alternate tuning. The second record on this double album starts off with In the Light. Progressive, eerie keyboards five out of five star classic i mean john paul jones on that song unbelievable uh brana you're as a traditional song three and a half down by the seaside i'm gonna give down by the seaside five out of five it's so different the way that it changes moods partially through you know i mean it's this pastoral acoustic song kind of 50s and then it gets into this dark murky world down by the seaside on physical graffiti my god i saw them do that in 1995 in paris when i saw page and plant for the second time unbelievable 10 years gone is 10 years gone my favorite zeppelin song on the wings of maybe Whew! got goosebumps baby gotta love that song flip that second record over you got night flight killer four and a half by the way 10 years gone five out of five the wonton song with the drums, four and a half stars. Boogie with Stu with Ian Stewart, the original founding member of the Rolling Stones on piano. Not quite as good. Black Country Woman, not quite as good. Sick Again, about the groupies in LA. Three and a quarter song. You know, there's some Mellotron on this record. Um, man. On Boogie with Stu, that's when they say, should we roll, Jimmy? My second most favorite is Led Zeppelin IV, right? Listen to this record. This album comes out November 8th of 71. It's her fourth record. It's recorded at Headley Grange using the Rolling Stones mobile recording thing, right? So they could go out to a mansion, you know, in the countryside and bring a mobile recording unit with them. Black Dog, five out of five. Rock and Roll, five out of five. The drums on Rock and Roll, right? Battle of Evermore. I'm going to give it four and a half, but with Sandy Denny singing back, back, backing vocals. Maybe it's a five out of five. So we got five out of five Black Dog. Rock and Roll, five out of five. 
Battle of Evermore. Let's just call it five. Stairway to Heaven. Five out of five. Just an epic song. It's so good that it's a cliche. Set, flip the album over. Misty Mountain Hop. Four and a half. Four Sticks. Why is it called Four Sticks? Courtesy of Mike Jones again. Bonham's got two drumsticks in each hand, right? Unbelievable song. But maybe one of the weaker songs on the album. Going to California is next. Five out of five. And then where the when the levee breaks. Uh, Levy Breaks is an adaption of a Memphis mini song, so it is kind of a cover, but it's five out of five Led Zeppelin material here. I mean, <sighs> rock and roll, by the way, uh, John Bonham gets a writing credit on rock and roll. He's doing his best, you know, uh, Gene Coop Coopra uh, impersonation there. <laughs> My favorite Led Zeppelin record is 1975's Houses of the Holy. And I'm going to tell you why. This was also recorded at Headley Grange, which is an estate, right? Song remains the same. Along with Achilles' Last Stand, my two favorite Zeppelin songs. Uh, the Rain Song. So back-to-back five-star classics. Over the Hills and Far Away. Another five-star classic. The Crunch. The bass and drums on The Crunch. Four and a half out of five, but it's so good. It's so different. The way that Plant's singing, the effects on his voice. They are fully not only doing, they're not doing the American blues anymore. They're doing Led Zeppelin music here. This is, along with Physical Graffiti, really along with Three and Four and Presence, this is just them at their prime. Okay, again, Song Remains Same, The Rain Song, Over the Hills and Far Away, The Crunch, Flip the Album Over, Dancing Days. When Dancing Days is one of your weaker songs on an album, you know you're doing something right. Dancing Days is killer. Jamaica, Dire Maker, whatever we want to call it. Killer song, but probably the weakest song on this record. Oh, 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 you don't have to go. I mean, some people don't like that, right? It's a little poppy. 3.75, and then you follow that up with no quarter. Five out of five. No quarter. <sighs> again, I mean, no quarter is unbelievable. One of my favorite songs. Saw, saw Page of Planet again in 98 in St. Louis at the Kiel Center. They played no quarter with the mist on the stage in the headspace that I was in that night. Man. It may as well have been Led Zeppelin, Michael Lee on drums. Michael Lee, shout out to Michael Lee, rest in peace. He filled in on that tour on drums, unbelievable. This album finishes up with the ocean. You know, down, 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 down. I mean, what, Beastie Boys use that on one of their songs. This is unbelievable. Again, song remains the same. Just the best song in their catalog, arguably. Um, this is incredible. Again, my favorite Led Zeppelin album is House is the Holy. Let's just do it in the order. Uh, we'll just start with them. House is the Holy, my favorite. Followed by Led Zeppelin 4. Followed by Physical Graffiti. Followed by Led Zeppelin 2. Followed by... Led Zeppelin 1, the debut, followed by Led Zeppelin 3, kind of the acoustic record. Presence, again, leading off of Achilles' last stand, unbelievable, but weaker than some of these other records. In Through the Outdoor, for a popular record, this is incredible. On some days I go to this, you know, just for all my love. Listen to that song, look at the words. Pull the words up on the internet, look at that song. And then Coda, which is a compilation record, we're gonna call it one of their, uh, Studio albums, just because the more Led Zeppelin we can talk about, the better, right? We're going to do, Kevin Kerbo and I are going to do a ranking of the best, our top 10 Led Zeppelin songs next week, right? There's so many great songs. Hopefully we don't overlap too much. We probably will a little bit. I'm Ryan Nolting. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Give me some comments on what you think my order was. Fact check me on some of the things that I said that were wrong, okay? Which I'm sure was plenty. Uh, like the channel, 
Peace out. Have fun. See you next week on that. We're gonna do we're gonna do a Van Halen ranking the albums next week too. We're gonna maybe do a hair metal show. Check out my Friday show called The Flow, which is a, a, the the week in rock. Again, take care. See ya.